Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome back. So uh, in the previous session, we have seen OOPS features and then inside that we have seen encapsulation. Today we will try to see inheritance, right? It is very, very, very important uh, topic guys. So inheritance is very, very important. So what is inheritance in general terms? What is inheritance? Let's say um, one person is there, he's a father. He's a father. So this guy, he has some properties. Right? So he has some properties, he has some uh, genes, all those things, right? Then you have his son. Let's say he is a son. So this, to this son, these properties will inherit, right, in general terms. So these properties will inherit. So he is a son. So this is in general, uh, in general terms, inheritance, right? So we say um, there will be so many things we will be getting inheritance, so be it good or bad. Um, good is we get properties and uh, our fathers or mothers, good qualities and then genes all those stuff we get as a inheritance at the same times if we have our father has some uh, de um, debts then we'll also be <laughs> responsible for that so we should uh, be responsible for those debts and um, if our parents having some uh, diseases like sugar diabetes all those stuff there's a good chance of getting it nowadays so inheritance, uh, we get both good and bad in general. Um, the same case with um, Java also. If your parent is having some uh, bad uh, codings, then uh, the child also will get that. So this is the inheritance guys in general terms. Um, so if you have some father has some properties as a uh, properties, father or mother parents, so the same will be inherited after the father to uh, son so these are the uh, this is in general terms inheritance and then how do you how, what is the concept in java inheritance okay so in java let's say you have a class called base class so you have a base class let's say i'm having a class called address okay so in this class, I have, let's say, uh, some properties, five properties are there. So this class I have written maybe uh, in 1990s or something. Uh, so in 1990s I have written, I'm giving example guys, nobody will write, 19, uh, 2000 I have written. So um, it, that time the class has some properties like, um, uh, street name and then zip code state country all those stuffs so later on after 2000 it's a web world we got um, uh, email and then whatsapp facebook all those things extra things right so i wanted to include in that if uh, the new address or a new contact information our phone has been evolved after that phone number all those things right so um, what I wanted to do is this class has been already referred in so many places. So what I'll do, I'll not disturb that class. I'll be extending a new class. That new class will hold the new properties. Like say, let's say these are these were having five properties. We'll be writing guys. We'll be writing a program. This was having five properties, and the extra two three properties will be putting in the new um, class. So this is a new address, new address class, which will extend, which will extend the base class. This is the base class. So base class extends the new, extends the child. Child is going to extend the parent. So parent will be the super class for the uh, child class. So this is called as base class. Uh, this is a child class. This is base class. This is 
child class right so this is a child the uh, above one is base and we call a super and sub super and sub also base and child also okay um, this terms we use so if it is a uh, base here base class is address and then here the um, the child class is um, new address super class is address and then the subclass is new address so we call this as uh, super class and this we call as subclass subclass to what address class okay let us not waste time let's go and write a program okay then you will understand better so i'm going to create on folder inheritance have an app and then i'm i'm creating a folder called src and then i'm creating a folder called classes right so inside my src i'm going to write a program so class address and then here i'll have two three properties out of those two three properties so first i'll write a constructor address so this address will take some properties so this is the default constructor right so first i'll declare the properties string street name or simply i kept street string state and then string country these are the three properties okay so here i'll have a default constructor <clears throat> and then i'll have all those things assigned here right so i'll have default constructor also and then i'll have one more constructor which is param parameterized so what i'll have string street comma string state comma string country right these are my three parameters when i'm creating object i will assign them street is equals to street and then this dot state is equals to state and then this dot country is equals to country this is my constructor okay now um, then what i'll do i'll write a display method okay it's okay now so we'll not write so this is my base class right okay let's let's save this i will save this as a address class address.java so where do i need to save i have created a folder structure right programs and then inheritance src then so if you want we can compile it we'll go to this cmd what is the compilation government guys java c hyphen d dot dot slash classes and then address.java so it is throwing some error what is that return time required what is this it's a constructor right so i have spelled it wrong that's the thing that's the reason it is calling so constructor name should be always class name guys constructor name should be always class name if you have one small spelling also it will not cons consider as constructor what it is considering is it is considering as a method and we saying that you, uh, you have not mentioned the uh, return type okay if you see the error invalid method declaration return type required when you have same name of class then it will treat as a constructor otherwise it will treat as a method so now it got compiled.
so i told you right when you get the errors don't get scared you read it then you'll understand so now if you see if you see here class in the classes folder address is generated now can i run this address class i cannot run because there is no main method so what i will do i will write a class again separate class class inherit manager inheritance manager is the class inside this let me save this so it's best, best practice guys you copy the class name and save dot java otherwise you you are bound to commit the mistakes so now inside this public static void main and then string args closing the brackets and then this is the main method and now inside this address add as is equals to new address so this is the way of creating a default constructor right so we are not passing any parameters then it will create try to create an object with the default constructor so if you create an object with uh, default constructor then what happens so our state will become all default values all default values of string is null 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 so i don't want i wanted to assign some values so street i want to pass state i want to pass and country i want to pass so my street is i stay in btm layout in bangalore so my state is karnataka and then i my country is india okay so i created the object so let us put some sops system dot out dot print allen so here so street i wanted to put street so here plus a address dot street this is the way we have to access an object's state right the reference and then the reference uh, name the reference and property name so the similar way i can copy paste this for three times and state so here also i'll change state and then here country and then here country guys so far we have not seen inheritance <laughs> don't worry so i am doing the setup first so after that you will be able to understand so now i have java c hyphen d dot dot slash classes and then um, inherit manager so uh, it generated the it generated the dot class file <clears throat> so it got uh, compiled now what i will do is so i can run the manager uh, uh, inherit manager right now so i will go to classes so here what is the command to run guys java so inherit manager i should not give dot class here so here see if you see street btm state so all these things it printed printed comes because we have not given print line okay that's fine so now i am going to write the new address class so i just copy this class and then paste it i'll rename this new address so here what i will have is so i will have two more properties so email email address and then phone number what phone so as of now i'm putting phone also a string only that's fine so these are the two extra properties so now i wanted to make my sorry let me save this new address so save it 
in the src dot java so this i wanted to make as the subclass to subclass to address class so extends is a keyword that is used to extend a class okay so what class we need to extend here address class so this class we have given so now the meaning of this is new address extends the address which means new address will give the property will will get the properties extended to the new address though it is not having the other properties which we have street state and country name so it will be extended here now what i will have is so inside my new address i'll write a new constructor again so this is my constructor so here it will take what does it take so we now even though it is looking here two parameters we are getting from the top three parameters right so i'll put uh, this properties as well as the other properties also so um, and then the string what is that email address and phone number so total my constructor is heavy now <laughs> right so this is my uh, constructor new address will take how many parameters so here it takes these many parameters okay now so in this i am going to assign this that email is equals to email comma this dot phone is equals to phone right so now let us compile this first of all and then we'll see the other part so how to compile this so here how to compile my um, new address this is the way it got compiled successfully guys now we have to use it right i'll go to the inheritance manager so i will create an object so i'll just copy paste this and then change it what is my class name new address so here also i need to give new address right so i have to pass five parameters now so email is nayabmca at gmail.com and then my phone number is this some number i'm giving so this is how we create an object right new address so now let us copy this let us see whether i am able to print this or not so i have to give the new reference name otherwise it will become duplicate right so new address new as the dot street new address dot state and new address dot country okay so now uh, along with this i'll have two more properties what is those what are those i have to see the email and phone what is that property phone i'll just copy paste so always do copy paste guys <laughs> otherwise you will do the typos so now if you see here what we have done in the inheritance manager um, let me show you so when we run what happens java will allocate some memory that memory will be divided into two parts right this is stack and heap this is stack and then this is heap right this inside the stack so in the inside the stack main method will be loaded so main method will be loaded here main method so what is the first line we are creating an object to the address object so here it will create an object address All right so it will create an object address so here it will have a reference reference is address so this will be pointing to this part and the properties here is properties here is 
straight i'm passing some straight right btm or something and then the um, state i'm passing karnataka i'll not write guys it'll be too lengthy and then i am passing country country is equals to india so here uh, i am having karnataka or something okay i'm putting some value so what we have done now we have created one more object so what is that object new address object so inside this new address object what it has is it will have <clears throat> so um, it will be like this guys so it will create an object which will have only two properties so what is those what are those properties email so is equals to i am giving some email right there dot com something whatever the email which we have given and then we have phone is equals to some number so here what is the reference we have the reference is new address new address so this reference it should have it will be pointing to this so here it will be extending this properties it is deriving the properties and then using it okay so um, it will have a connection so it will extend the properties so now uh, we have written the sops let us see if there will be for these three fields we will get nulls guys for these three fields we get nulls i'll tell you the uh, reason uh, once we uh, see that so what i need to compile now inherit inherit manager so i have compiled it so let us go and run it again inherit manager see the first part is done <clears throat> then in the second part using uh, so to make you distinguish so we can put a um, distinguisher here just a new address properties new address properties right so um why these three fields are though it is not giving any error but these three fields are these three fields are creating uh, issues so means that it is not issue it is not pending as per our expectation it has to um, get the all the properties right so it has to derive all the objects so if you keenly look at our new address sorry um, if you keenly look at our uh, new address class right how are we creating an object using the constructor this is the constructor we have so in this constructor we are just giving assigning values to email and phone number right email and phone number if you assign values to other also uh, it it should work so let us try that so i'll copy this and then paste it here and then we'll see so this i have done now i need to compile new address right i need to compile new address it got compiled guys see even though street and state and country is not present here it did not give me any error because those properties are been inherited here that's the only reason it is giving it is able to compile the moment you remove this particular code let's see i'll show you then it will say this three uh, variables it is not able to understand right sorry i need to compile this so i have removed that now see cannot find state cannot find state cannot find country that's the difference guys so um, that is what we are ex getting the extents so now if you compile this and then uh, we have already compiled now not, not compile right when we created it was giving error so i will compile it again so now so here i'll run this this time it is printing everything perfectly right so it is printing btm karnataka india and nibmc so this new line what we have written it is not printing why you tell guys any any uh, reason we have not compiled this class we have just compiled this class 
if you want we can compare that class and then see the latest output and so i'll go here in the classes see it is coming now new address props okay so this is the first part of inheritance guys there are a lot to cover in inheritance so we'll see in the next session thank you please subscribe to my channel please comment please share it to your friends thank you guys bye bye